My name is Savannah Evans and I'm the founder of Guapcoin. And I decided to put together this series of little bits and bytes of crypto information that's pertinent to Guapcoin and especially for beginners. So at the heart of every blockchain are wallets. And what wallets do is access the blockchain and bring you back data that's pertinent to your wallet address or to your account. So I often have people who kind of think that the wallets that they have are similar to banking wallets, meaning that they're all centralized, they're all connected. And if I log into one wallet, I should be able to log into the other. They should have the same login, et cetera. And they fail to realize that blockchain, especially Guap, um, is a decentralized blockchain. And what makes it so secure is the fact that there are many different ways to access it and they're not all tied in together. So for instance, um, when you're looking at Bitcoin, when you download a Bitcoin wallet, you're not logging into a central Bitcoin account. You, what it's gonna do is create a whole new address and that's what blockchains can do. Blockchains can create unlimited addresses for you. So literally one person might have a hundred addresses. In the future, you might have different addresses that do different things. You might have one address that is there just to pay your bills, or you might have one address that you use to shop. Um, so the idea of having all of these different wallets or wallet addresses can be a little bit foreign. So if you download a, a software or an application, what it's going to do is it's going to hold all of your wallet. Well, it's going to hold wallet addresses together. Uh, together. So for instance, you download the Guapcoin desktop wallet, and that could be Mac OS, or that could be Windows. Um, this is going to be a wallet where you can create as many addresses as you want. And all of those addresses are going to be housed in that particular wallet. So you open up that wallet, you might have 10 different addresses and you can kind of consider them to be 10 different wallets inside of a wallet because each wallet address is literally like its own autonomous thing. It has its own private key, et cetera. So people are like oftentimes like, well, I have the Guap mobile wallet and I have, you know, the Android iOS wallet. I would love to be able to log in there and it's sync with my desktop wallet. Well, they're not the same wallets. And the truth about cryptocurrency, especially decentralized cryptocurrency, is anybody can create a wallet. Um, a wallet might not be put out by the official team of the cryptocurrency. Someone might decide that they want to start their own Guap wallet and they program a, a Guap wallet and they put this wallet out. And this is another wallet that can create addresses and that people can store those addresses and private keys in. So another thing about wallets is that, you know, a lot of people seem to um, kind of think that the wallet is holding your coin and it's not. What the wallet is doing is it's holding your address and your private key and it's accessing the blockchain where that data is stored. Your money is stored on the blockchain. So as long as you have your private keys, which you do have access to in most wallets, at least the wallets that we put out with Guapcoin, you have access to your private keys, then you can literally take a copy of your private key and write it down if you want to, take a picture or whatever, and you can take it somewhere else, you know, and interact with Guap. So that's what's really cool about it because you are your own bank and you're not trapped in a wallet or you're not trapped or tied to something, neither is your funds. You can go anywhere you want to with your crypto in these wallets.